great day for a ride. Characters Queen read by Nataria. World Advisor 1 read by Shannon. Royal Advisor 2 read by Justin. Royal Advisor 3 read by Asan. Royal Advisor 4 read by Tani. Good, Good morning, morning, Your Majesty. Yes, indeed, Royal Advisor. It's, it's a very good morning, a great way to start the new century. It's hard to believe it's 1800 already. It seems like just yesterday we were in the 1700s. That's very perceptive of you. A new century has dawned, Your Majesty. How I wish I could fly. What a great day it would be for flying. Yes, Your Majesty. The sun is shining and the birds are singing. And the royal lake is as smooth and glimmering as your finest mirror. It's an ideal day to tone your physique by rowing your powerfulness. Or flying the royal kite, ma'am. Or taking a stroll in the royal gardens. Nothing is ever that uncomplicated with this queen. Oh, how very tedious that all sounds. Can't you think of something more exciting for me to do? I thought she was in one of those moods. Here's a scintillating suggestion. You might enjoy an equestrian adventure. Galloping on a fiery steed is always exciting, your majesty and mine. Do you mean a little fox hunting? Or how about a little archery? I mean nothing of that sort. Aren't you listening? I said something exciting. E-X-C-I-T-I-N-G. Exciting. All signs point to this being a challenging day in the palace. Your Royalness, we seek your wisdom on these matters. What to you would signify a superlative day? What I have in mind is... Yes? A bicycle ride in the country. I just knew that trouble was looming. A bicycle ride, Your Majesty? In the country, Your Royal Highness? That's what I said. There's just the teeniest, weeniest little problem, ma'am. What do you mean, problem? Surely it's your job to overcome problems, especially teeniest, weeniest problems. Who among us shall reveal the regrettable truth? Not me. Definitely not me. As usual, it's left up to me to do the dirty work. Well, Your Majesty, I regret to inform you that a bicycle ride in the country is not possible. Well, not today anyway. Not possible, not possible, but of course it's possible. If I want it, then it must be possible. It's your job to make it possible. The problem is, Mom, that the, um, the bicycle while you see it hasn't been invented yet. Of course, this much-desired mode of transportation is fairly imminent, your royal impatience. Only another 40 years, in fact. 39, to be precise, it will be in the year 1839 that a creative genius named Kirkpatrick McMillan will invent the bicycle. That sounds like a good Scottish name. Why don't you find him and get him to work on this today? You know, just hurry him along a little. I don't think that's possible, Your Majesty. You see, Kirkpatrick McMillan will be a Scottish blacksmith when he invents the bicycle. But he isn't old enough to be a blacksmith now. In fact, he hasn't been born yet. Aha, your regal ornaments. Might I suggest an alternative? There is a bicycle prototype, much like a scooter. But you sit upon it and use your feet to propel it along the ground. If you can wait 39 years, Kirkpatrick Macmillan will invent some little things called pedals to make riding easier. And faster. Fine. 
I'm ready to try out whatever you can come up with. The best we can do for you right now is the dandy horse. It's more of a walking contraption than a bicycle. I must warn you, Your Majesty, that the dandy horse is quite slow and it's not easy to ride. I don't like the sounds of that at all. I believe they can be quite enjoyable, Your Majesty, but they're not the sort of thing you would ride through the countryside. You see, it was invented in France just ten years ago. In 1790, the king uses it to push himself around the royal gardens. I'd rather wait for the blacksmith from Scotland with his, what are they called? Pedals, your highness. Macmillan will base the bicycle design with pedals on the dandy horse. A rider on his bicycle will sit on a seat between the two wheels. That sounds fine. Why don't you fools put that together this morning and then I'll take it out this afternoon. Well, you see, even with all the blacksmith skills with medals, this will be a large, heavy contraption. It will weigh as much as a 10-year-old child. One will need considerable strength and cinema to ride it. This won't be a problem for a fit young blacksmith such as Macmillan, but it wouldn't be as easy for one such as your royal highness. The scenario worsens. There is a comfort issue. I have it on reliable authority that the wheels on the first bicycle will be constructed from wood with iron tyres. I do declare that sounds like a very bumpy ride and not at all comfortable on my royal... In another 80 years, your ride will be more comfortable, ma'am. Indubitably. In 1880, another Scottish shotsman by the name of Dunlop will invent rubber tiles filled with air. Tires designed to cushion you over those repellent potholes. Your delicateness. If only we could wait around for another 170 years, then we'd have bicycle with gears. Well, I'm not waiting around any longer. If you can't find something exhilarating for me to do, I shall just watch television all day. Did she say what I thought she said? I'm afraid she did. Who's going to tell her that television hasn't been invented yet? Why are you all looking at me like that? Why do I always have to tell the queen that... He can't do what she wants to do. Come along, who's got the remote? Um, Your Majesty, I have some rather upsetting news for you, and you won't be hearing about it on the television. Illustrated by Justin, John Ross, Natalia, Tane, and Asan. Music by Justin. <laughs>